Hi everybody. Welcome to Simple Living PEI. Now I have, you can see my dirty kitchen. It's not my dirty kitchen, it's messy. We just got home. So I did not take as many videos as I was going to. Took a couple of pictures, you'll see them. It's kind of cute. You're gonna like it, but I hopped about to Belleville to commit a felony. Don't send me to jail. We kidnapped. Say hi to mom. You'll see her at the end too. We're gonna make some freezer meals. We're gonna post those next. But enjoy the trip. Like and subscribe and share guys. We're gonna have some fun. Bye. The world's longest covered bridge. I've never been on this thing. All right, this is cool. All right, I like this. After I'm done though, I gotta figure out how the heck to get back to the highway. Ah, if I had the time, I'd walk it, but when I come back around with mom, we may just have to walk it because this is pretty cool. Look at those beams. Oh my gosh. Fabulous. We are road tripping, folks. And that's our next bridge. That's how we're getting out of here. That is cool. So I haven't done a lot of videos while I've been on my little road trip, but um, one of the things that I grew up with was the Marmor Mine. So I just talked to a guy who's camping and apparently the quarry here has gotten really, really high since I've been gone. So let's go check it out. Yeah, so here we go guys. Let's head on up to the Marmara Mines. Now, if you've ever been to Ontario and know this area in Hastings, the Marmara Mines, it is literally a mine. It's a quarry mine. And oh my goodness, did it ever get high. Wow. That, guys, is the Marmara Mine. That, wow. It's actually even out over where the old road used to be. I know there's a chain link fence in the way. My camera wants to focus on the chain link. Let's try this a different way. Is that working? No. Oh, there we go. That is crazy how high it is. I'll do some digging, guys, and see if I can find a uh, picture of just how low this used to be. Camera keeps focusing on the chain link. Welcome to the Marmor Mines. You used to be able to walk out along that side around the top edge, but they put a fence up there now. It's just not safe, guys. So if you ever come to the Marmor Mines, don't cross the fence. Just saying. Well, forgive the paint. There are idiots everywhere, but that picture on the sign, that's what it used to look like. And now it is full of water. Another stop on the memory trail. Oh, Harris Mill. Yeah. Oh, Harris Mill is another spot that we really like. It's a um, run by the Quinty Conservation Society. Whatever. I don't remember. Quinty Conservation. 
I'll put the link for O'Hare's Mill down below. So if you're ever in the Madoc, Marm, or Belleville area, the trails and a lot of the family stuff they do up here, definitely worth the trip. So that's the mill pond. That's the bridge they built. It's quite a few years ago now, but it goes over the mill chute. But that's the mill pond. And yes, it is actually a mill. I'll show you the mill next. Well, guys, that's the mill. They don't run it very often, but there's not very many guys that can still run an old mill like that. But this is the bridge. So this is new. The old bridge ne definitely needed to be replaced, but let's go down and have a look at it. So there are a lot of European heritage and lots of old stuff. A little winded, sorry guys, I just chucked up hill. <sighs> but Canadian heritage. That stuff's the best. So in the old farm cottage here, still winded sorry guys quite frequently in this old farm cottage there's a woman on farm days she cooks on that fireplace if you can believe it makes everything on that big old table and yeah they cook on that fireplace it's actually really kind of fun to come to but this cottage this cabin whatever you want to call it Check this out. Miss Jane and Mr. James O'Hara. Yes, that is this cabin. Very cool. Let's head on over to the Sugar Shack. So if you're not Canadian, you don't know what a Sugar Shack is maybe. I don't know. So this is the Sugar Shack. They just rebuilt this. It was, it's been quite a few years because they had just finished it, I think, maybe three years before I left the area. And what this thing is for is just to boil down maple sugar. See? It's upside down at the moment, right? Got to keep it tidy. But check this out. It's all vented up there. So the way it works is you get the maple sap. Put it in that pan, light the fire, evaporate the water. Maple syrup. Can't be in Canada if you don't like maple syrup. Well, one of the reasons I come to O'Hare's Mill is to look at the gardens. The volunteers take such good care of this garden. It used to be bigger, but not so many volunteers now, of course. But, uh, I mean, look, there's beans, there's peas, tomatoes, look at them all, broom corn, literally they make brooms with broom corn, but wow, look at the size of these beets, guys, look at that, yep, can't grow veggies like that at home. <laughs> Well, guys, <laughs> check out those butternut. Oh my gosh. We'll have some at home soon. There's another one over there. I think I could turn my field with one of those. We could hitch Fred to that. Okay, so this is new. It's actually milking hens, how to milk a cow, the hen house, cream separator, just like the perfect little barn. Why not?
it is a little hard to take video through a glass, but we had to stop at the Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory, and I had to show you the covered chip. Covered chips? Covered Bridge Potato Chips. So this is just one of the fryers, and Mom thinks they come out a little dark, but personally, they're kettle cooked. I think they taste great. Yeah. Oh, you want to see the new ones come in? I did forget to actually film the conveyor belt, so they come down the conveyor belt through the slicer right above the fryers, and they fry 90 pounds of freshly sliced potatoes at a time. You can see that second fryer in the back has just got its fresh load of potatoes. Four fryers go at a time. Shake your half to oil? Yep. Go through a spinner and stuff like that. It's not just potato chips. I slowed this down hoping to catch when they shoot the defects out, but it is still going so fast. I still can't spot a defect getting blown out of the way, but hey, it was still fun to watch. We are making covered chip home style something. I can't read it. That's the sea salt there. Oh, there's the weekender. See? Isn't that nifty? I'm asking. Oh. So, can't drive home without stopping at the Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory. <laughs> Almost there.